This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A man was sentenced to a year in prison for a September 2017 pursuit that ended in a crash at the Moses Lake BMX track. Chelan Public Utility District's Fiber Department hosted the Wenatchee Chamber of Commerce Careers After School Tuesday. Longtime Royal High School football coach Wiley Allred was recently named the Don Shula NFL Coach of the Year runner-up. The Afraid of the Tigers made the most of their senior night by putting on a show in the fourth quarter to defeat the East Valley Red Devils. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. A man was sentenced to a year in prison for a September 2017 pursuit that ended in a crash at the Moses Lake BMX track. 20-year-old Randy James pleaded guilty to attempting to elude and a Grand County judge followed a joint recommendation and sentenced James to 12 months and one day in prison. Early in the morning on September 27th, Moses Lake police say officers initially attempted to stop James near West Peninsula Drive for failing to use his turn signal. James then sped up, leading to a pursuit along neighborhood roads and onto West Broadway Avenue. James eventually turned back toward Peninsula Drive before reaching the dead end at the entrance to the BMX track next to the Larson Recreation Center. James then continued through the fence and drove over one of the dirt jumps, causing the car to go airborne before getting stuck on another jump. James then jumped out of the driver's side window and led officers on a foot chase through several yards before he was caught. A passenger in the car, Daniel Tudor, also reportedly fled on foot and was found hiding on the roof of a storage unit facility. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Maytag and the family pooch have a lot in common. Both are loyal, both aim to please, and both are tenacious dish cleaners. But only one can sanitize. Maytag. What's inside matters. Maytag Appliances. Now available at More Furniture in Ephrata. Chelan Public Utility District's Fiber Department hosted the Wenatchee Chamber of Commerce Careers After School Tuesday. Chelan PUD hosts two of the career after school events per year. The thought behind the careers after school is to help make students better equipped in making decisions about their futures through education, engagement, and exposure. At the PUD event, students and parents were able to gain basic knowledge of fiber and receive hands-on learning of what employees at the fiber department do for the community. A lot of students we've learned, um, they learn by doing hands-on touch experience demonstrate and so that's what tonight is all about the kids are going to travel through several stations they're not going to sit and listen to a lecture they're not going to sit and take notes to be tested they're going to go and they're going to touch and they're going to splice and they're going to play with and feel and so that's uh that's our direction that we're taking in just reaching um this age group of kids the next careers after school with the chelan pod will be with the graphic design department in april i'm madison meyer with ifiber one news this segment is brought to you by... Are your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. Longtime Royal High School football coach Wiley Allred was recently named the Don Shula NFL Coach of the Year runner-up. He had an opportunity to go to Orlando during the Pro Bowl and to meet all the other coaches who were chosen by their respective NFL teams. That was probably the highlight of, of the weekend is to uh, exchange ideas and sit down there with them and talk about what we each think we do best in our programs. and. Uh, We've exchanged emails and, and got invites to come out, visit. Coach Allred was proud to be the one to tell everyone there about Royal City and the football community they have. I'm, I guess, happy to be a representative, but that's exactly what I feel like, is I'm just one of the pieces and I'm a representative of, of this community and of our coaching staff. But it isn't me, it's we start at the grid kid level and we encourage and we've got guys like Dane Craver, we've got so many individuals. Coach Allred was different from a lot of the coaches there because he came from a small town. They would be Kansas City, they would be 
south of Green Bay. They would be New York, uh, L.A., uh, Ari you know, Phoenix, Arizona, and, and Royal City. And they're like, where's that? Well, and they assumed it was Seattle. And I was like, no, we're a small town. Describe it a little bit. And, and, it, and they were uh, very respectful of that. From this experience, he has some new resolutions. I walk away wanting to do better myself and be a better coach. And, uh, you know, because you kind of go, you know, there's more things we can do. There's, I can do a better job. And so I think that improvement part, we ask young people to do that every day. And sometimes we don't ask that of ourselves uh, as adults. I'm Am Chikoski for a Fiber One Sports. The Afraid the Tigers made the most of their senior night by putting on a show in the fourth quarter to defeat the East Valley Red Devils. Through three quarters, the game was tense. Afraid had a slight lead going into halftime, but the Red Devils closed the gap in the third quarter. Entering the last quarter of play, the two teams were tied 45 to 45. That's when the Tigers went off, outscoring the Red Devils 25 to 7 and winning the game 70 to 52. The 25 points scored in the fourth quarter was the highest amount of points scored by the Tigers in the fourth quarter all season. The Tigers are now tied with Prosser with a 9 and 8 conference record, but things could still be shaken up by the end of the week. Afreda's last regular season game will be at Quincy this Friday. I'm Am Chikoski for i Fiber One Sports. This is i Fiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.